Good morning, my friends. How are you guys today? I am good. Thank you for asking. So guys, today is crazy hair day. Crazy hair day. And today in our um, morning circle time with Miss Janet, the other Miss Janet, we had some kids showing us their crazy hairs. Whoa, and it was crazy. So today, my friends, it's Monday, and I and if you guys remember, we had said we were not going to do homework because we have three more days for our graduation. So what number of the day is it today? It's the eighth, so let's put it on our board, and let's count to see how many more days for our graduation. One, two, three 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 more days for your graduation are you guys excited i am i want to see you guys with their your superhero costumes on that day so guys go out in your window and check what the weather is today it looks like it's sunny today is sunny and it is monday and it is crazy hair day. So in the morning, Miss Janet read a book to you guys, and it is called, let's see, it is called Crazy Hair Day. So let's see, she read this book, and I am not sure if you guys are gonna be able to see the pages. But let's try it. Crazy hair day. By me, Barney Salzburg. Stanley Birbaum woke up early. Bald Eagle Elementary School was celebrating Crazy Hair Day. And Stanley couldn't wait. They had celebrated Pajama Day, Twin Day, and Sixties Day. Stanley's favorite was Twin Day because he and his best friend, Larry Finchfeather, had worn exactly the same thing. Stanley was ready. He had rubber bands, he had styling gel, and to make his hair perfect, Stanley had two cans of Halloween hairspray. Stanley's mother knew just what to do. She wrapped, she dipped, and to make his hair perfect, she sprayed Stanley's hair bright orange and blue. Ta-da, said Stanley. I am a work of art. You are going to be late if you don't hurry, said his mother. Stanley rolled the rubber bands in his hair. He gently tapped the tops of his spikes. This, he said, is going to be a day I will never forget. I bet Larry Finchfeather and I will have the craziest hair in the whole school, Stanley thought. As he walked toward the classroom, he heard his teacher talking. And remember, Mr. Winger said, crazy hair day is next Friday. Everybody stopped. Everybody stared. Stanley felt sick. Larry Finchfeather said, is that a hair do or a hair don't? Everybody laughed, and Stanley ran to the bathroom. A few minutes later, Stanley heard someone come in. Me, Larry Finchfeather. The Larry Finchfeather who just made fun of me in front of the whole class, asked Stanley. I was only teasing, said Larry. Some days you tease me too much, said Stanley. Mr. Ringer said he wants me to try to be a peacemaker instead of a troublemaker, said Larry. I'm supposed to bring you back to class. I'm not going, said Stanley. If you stay in here, you'll miss being in the class picture, said Larry. I thought that was next Friday, said Stanley. Crazy hair day is next Friday, Larry said. Today is school picture day. Stanley rolled the rubber bands in his hair. He gently tapped the tops of his spikes. This, he said, is going to be a day I will never. Larry Finchfeather suggested that Stanley try washing his hair in the sink. It won't help, said Stanley. Halloween hair color lasts for days. Well, it really doesn't matter. It's only your hair, Larry told him. If you don't come out of here by the time math is over, I'm coming to get you. You can't stay here all day. It was very quiet after Larry Finchfeather left. Stanley wondered if maybe he could spend all day in the bathroom. He ate his lunch, he ate his pictures, he even timed himself to see how fast he could flush all the toilets. <laughs> 32 and a half seconds, he shouted. A new world record by me, Stanley Birdbaum. Stanley had counted up to 121, 122, 123 drops of water from a leaky faucet when Larry Finchfeather came back. Beep, time.
time's up, let's go, Larry announced. Picture time. If I'm in it, I'll look like the class weirdo, said Stanley. Remember 60s day when Mr. Winger had the flu but came in anyway, said Larry? He said the day wouldn't be the same if we weren't all together. You have to come. I'll give you five minutes. Larry Finchfeather left, and Stanley Burbaum thought about 60s day. But Mr. Winger had taught him all those great old songs. He remembered how on pajama day everyone in his class had worn PJs and slippers. Then Stanley imagined what his class picture would look like without him. He decided to go back to class. To keep from being nervous, Stanley made up a song. Crazy hair, crazy hair, how I wish it wasn't there. Stanley felt someone touch his shoulder. I was just coming to get you some very rich feather. What if they laugh at me again, asked Stanley. Everything will be fine, Larry whispered. I promise. Stanley stood in front of his class. Everybody stopped. Everybody stared. Stanley rolled the rubber bands in his hair. He gently tapped the tops of his spikes. This, he said, is going to be a day I will never forget. Very happy when he went to sleep. The reason he's sleeping on his stomach is because his hair was too spiky for him to sleep on his back. So crazy hair day. And what did he sing? Crazy hair, crazy hair day, right? So friends, that today was our crazy hair day. So remember, tomorrow is crazy shirt day. So be creative and Go ahead and tell your parents, your sister's brother, or whoever lives with you guys, let's bring out a shirt and be creative. You could do it on it, right? Or put crazy things just like what you put in your hair. Put it on your shirt and share with us tomorrow. So guys, I will see you tomorrow. And in the morning, our friends were excited and they said, can we say goodbye with an excited face? So we said goodbye with an excited face. So let's act surprised. Let's Let's act um, excited. Goodbye, my friends. See you tomorrow. See you next time.